Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the manager of training services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to share an overview of what we teach in our Inventor Cable and Harness Design course. Cable and Harness is one of Inventor's routed systems workflows. One of the first things we'll talk about is the structure of a cable and harness design. You can see here in the browser, I have a couple different harnesses. If I expand this out, you'll see that there is a harness below that. Below that, there is a folder for wires, segments, and virtual parts. So you can see there's several different wires in here. Those wires are routed through different segments to give us a, a more realistic routing. And then we can also add virtual parts like looms, which would basically be like your braided sleeves. For cable and harness to work properly, we'll have to do some setup to individual components. In this case, you can see that I have all these points at the center of all these connections. Inventor calls these pins, so we'll have to go through the process of creating pins. And each component then can have what the software calls harness properties. So if I go to the harness properties for this component, you can see that I can give it a special part number and a reference designator. The reference designator is incredibly important because each component will have to have a unique one so it then lines up with schematics. These schematics can also be brought in from AutoCAD Electrical. So once we've discussed the structure and what it takes to get components prepped and ready for cable and harness, we'll start placing them and building subassemblies that are ready for cable and harness subassemblies themselves. So you can see here I've got an assembly that's already got some components in it. It's already actually has a harness and one wire in it. So if I dig into that harness, you can see here that I have already some wires and some segments. Then I can go ahead and add a new wire. And you can see that I basically just have to pick pin to pin. That's why the pin locations and the pin creation is vitally important because those have to exist before we can create the wire routing. So I can create the wire, I can pick a category, and I can pick a color and a gauge. And this is all based off of libraries that will discuss how to create and how to author and how to get these set up so they are matching your standards. So once I have that wire in there, obviously point to point isn't a very realistic routing for you or for a wire. So we can then go through the process of what they call routing that through a segment. So I can go here to route. I can say I want this wire. I'm going to use a single segment. I'm going to then say I want it to run through this segment here. Apply that and you'll see that wire now runs through that segment as well. Those segments can be just virtual components or they can also replicate things like braided sleeves. Another important topic that we'll discuss is documenting these. We can document these designs with 3D drawings or these 2D nail boards. So here is a nail board view. You can see I've already thrown in the connector views that uh, are the connectors that are on the either ends or what these things connect into. We can also add different types of annotations and so on and so forth to get this properly documented to your company standard as well. All this and more is covered in Mesa's Inventor Cable and Harness Design course. If you'd like to sign up, feel free to give us a call or you can email me at my email address there on the screen. I'll also place in the description to this video a link to Mesa's course catalog and course schedule. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.